With fall here, it's time for comfort food season to kick in, and for me, that means pasta for sure. Chef Bill Fuller with the Big Burrito Group is here to show us two popular pastas being served up for this week's Pasta Fest at the group's Casbah restaurant in Shadyside. Bill, we are going to be all over the place. We're all today. over the place. What are we making? So we're going to make two pastas. Okay. One we have is... a, uh, a three cheese filled tortelloni with butternut squash, sage, and hazelnut brown butter. Yum. And then we have a fresh fettuccine with. Uh, lemon butter sauce with roasted um, cauliflower with a little bit of uh, lemon ricotta on top. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And so you said that we were actually going to. We're going gonna... to interact here. Okay, let's do I'm it. I'm going to get my hands dirty. There you go. If I need those, you're in trouble. I know. I don't think you will. You're pretty. And we were talking in the break about your lovely beard and your new addition. And you do this every winter. Lovely. It's, er it's early yet. It's like, it's like a week and a half. Face. Right. It looks it's good. It's early yet. I like it. All right, so we got a little square <laughs> of pasta. Okay. Lay it down. And this is fresh. You made this. Mm -hmm. I'll lay it down. Sorry. Yes. Okay. And what are you putting in there? This is a ricotta cheese. Yum. Parmesan and uh, a little bit of Romano. Looks like some pepper maybe in there. Some pepper and a little bit of the brown butter. Great. All right. Uh oh. It's all right. We, I, got, a little, we got a little spillage over I, here with some I water. I for that. I'm, we're okay. I'm <laughs> gonna put some egg on it. Okay. All right. I feel like this is something. Don't make it home. Oh, make Come this at see home. Bill. No, make it at home. Yeah, no, it's fun to make. Come pasta see at home. Bill. All right, you ready? That's okay. yours. All right. So we're gonna fold it up. Okay. And do a little triangle. Just like that. Yeah. All right. Can you guys see this? Can you see this? Oh, Brian, you're doing a good job. And then okay. you're, then you're gonna like seal it all around. Okay. Right where where the ricotta yeah, is, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we can pick it up. All right. I'm following your lead here. I know you are. You're doing a great job. Okay. Give it one fold up. Uh oh. One fold up. Yeah. Okay. And then bring it around closed. This way? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then pinch it hard closed. Pinch it hard. How did that how does that look? It's like a little hat. It's like a little hat. It's okay. like that full tray of little hats. Wow. Look at that. You did good. Did you make these in your sleep? You're yes, so good actually, at it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those look really good. All right, so we're going to put these in the cook. Okay. And those are really easy. You would just make your sh like a sheet of pasta and cut it into squares. Yeah, and you can buy fresh pasta at, you know, some of the stores Market District has right. it. So, but if you're feeling in the mood, if you're feeling in the mood, make some fresh pasta, some guys. Fresh. All right, so okay. we're, we're going to come back over here. All right, so those are cooking for how long in the in our boiling water? Till they come up to 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 a boil and it's fresh pasta, it's just going to take like two minutes. Oh, great. It's going to be okay. really fast. This is perfect. So on this one, okay. I roasted the cauliflower in the oven with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. I tossed it with this fresh fettuccine and we're going to... Which you also made. Which we also I'm made. I'm so impressed. A little Meyer lemon butter. Now you might not be familiar with Meyer lemons. Or kind Meyer of. Lemon. This is a Meyer lemon yeah. and it's like a really like, here you can have it. Oh, thank you. I'll sure. keep it. Forever and ever. <laughs> this, is, this is a Meyer lemon. Meyer it's lemon. orange. And it's uh, sweeter and a little more... Um, fragrant than uh -huh. your regular lemon. Okay. So. I've never, I actually have never, I would have mistaken this for an orange, a small orange. It and where like do you find this? In, in the grocery store. Oh, really? I mean, they come, Any old grocery they come store. from California and they're seasonal. They're more like a winter seasonality. Oh. So okay. they'll be in season here very soon. Well, they're in season now. Great. I did not check at the grocery store to see if yeah. they're available yet. You got special people, don't you, Bill? I got, I got people. <laughs> yes, people, people. All right, I got okay. people. <laughs> All right, so and so you just put the Meyer lemon in there, and that had butter in it too. A lot of butter. A lot of butter. A lot of butter. That's how I see, like my pasta. You see how there's a nice like sauciness down there? Yeah. Is yeah. that from the fresh pasta, kind of like the starchiness of it, or is that just? So all that's from some of the pasta water coming over and the butter. Okay. And just being on TV with you. Oh. Lots thanks. of sauciness. Lots. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're not done. Oh, We're not oh, done. Oh, I can't do it. We're not done. Yet. Put okay, that fork sorry. down. <laughs> fork is down. <laughs> so we have this like. We've grated some Meyer lemon zest and a little Meyer lemon juice and okay. some sheep's milk ricotta. Ooh. It's really nice. Ricotta is one of my favorite things. Ricotta really? and goat cheese, two of my favorite things. Really? Uh huh. I'm a big goat cheese fan. I love goat cheese. So we're going to put a blob on there, then what you're going to kind of do is just smoosh it together. Smoosh it. Smooshing away, Bill. And as predicted, our tortellonis are done. Are done. They rose to the top. Uh, they rose to the top. There's one more sitting down there. We're going to start digging them out. I can't wait to try this. You're going to have to talk, though, while I eat. Yes, I'm good at that. So we're taking okay. the, the tortellonis out, and in this pan, mm. uh, I browned off little cube butternut squash, and then I added some extra butter right at the end and let it, let it brown. And when that butter browned, I put in fresh sage leaves from my garden and some hazelnuts. 
This is so good. And hazel, thank you very much. It's it's sweet, but it's it doesn't have that same tartness that a lemon, a regular lemon does. But it's it's, it's good. Delicious. It's like yeah, really aromatic. And it's creamy. Yeah. You were doing a nice job of eating. I did a good job. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> so. And how long do you toss this around for? Until it's mixed. Oh great! So that one's nice and easy too. Well, yeah. Where's my other plate? And I'm going to put. Uh, this is a Parmesan stock, and all it is is some water seasoned with salt and pepper, and we take cheesecloth with the old Parmesan rinds. And we tie it in the cheesecloth and we suspend it in the pot. And then we simmer it. And what happens is it extracts all the flavor out of that uh, Parmesan rind without burning on the bottom of the pot. Oh, that's awesome. And then you can just take some of that water and dump it in there yep. and mix around with it. It's got pot. a little Parmesan flavor. Great. I can't wait to try this one, too. Now we're going to make this. You rock. Uh -huh. You always rock my Thursday. You're going to make my <laughs> life so awesome today. <laughs> mm. yeah. And I love butternut squash. And a little bit of po pomegranate seeds. Ooh. And that's okay. some fall. All right, I'm gonna dig into this. Now you can eat. So we're doing this pasta fest at Casbah this yeah, week. Yeah, tell us more about it. We so we 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 always have four or five or six pastas. But we add uh -huh. another ten, and we do them in smaller portions. And it's really mm. nice to share and taste. And this is about the size of the portions that we, we we give. So what people do, they come in, they get, you know, eight pastas, and they pass them around and share them. Through tonight. That pomegranate seed on top, it just like bursts in your mouth and Sweet, it's perfect. Sweet, it's rich, with this. it's, and then the, the acidity of that. Yep. Mm. Awesome, thanks. You rock. Okay, for a copy of today's recipes, go to kdka.com slash PTL. Bill shares them with us there. Or come try these and others tonight, as he mentioned, at Caspa's Fall Fiesta de Pasta that's on Highland Avenue. Did I say that right? That's lovely. Okay. <laughs> I said it fast, so it sounded better. That's in Shady Side. Okay, come.